right, let's try again and have a look over the back here. That took a long time sorting out that Rex. But nonetheless, we're back into it and we're heading maybe a little bit towards Green Ob. We're going to head northwards and see what's back here. Okay, we still got some more Rex spawning area. We've got like a nice little canyon down here. I like that. That's a good taming area. Get Rex's down in there. That'd be great. I haven't seen much metal around. I've only seen a little bit. Um, there will be some nodes around somewhere. You just got to find them. That's normally the way. We're just coming over here into. Oh, yeah. oh, there's one of my rafts. Oh, that's right, I remember that spot. Yeah, I died down there to raptors. Okay, so we got green ob over there. Maybe I'll. That's over that way. I want to go keep going northwards directly behind. Let's just push over this way a little bit. See if we can find some good metal spawns around here. It looks like a metal spawn area, doesn't it? The forest is very nice. This it's a great forest area. I'll give them that man. There's a good, good, good forest area. Ooh. Griffins. Yes. Okay, that's exciting. Getting a bit of lag. One stuck in a rock there. Griffins at this location. What's that about 40, 45, give or take? Griffins, I like it. Okay, I didn't expect that. I wasn't, actually, to be honest, I don't wasn't really expecting anything. Okay, Jesus. What the hell was that? What's that? What's going on there? Is some sort of graphical glitch? I think it was. There's land and have a look at that again. Oh my god. What's this purple? What's done that? But there's metal around here, so we're at that location. 25 what, 45? Something like that. There's a yellow drop over there. Let's, let's head over that way a little bit. Hmm, interesting. Sabertooth Tigers there. More crystal down there. Scorpions up there. Bit of stem. Yeah, so that's looking back towards where my base is over there somewhere. some oil nodes there that's a good thing so we've got this map mountain here and we've got some oil nodes cool and one little new addition is dead turtles there's a few of them kicking around Yeah, you got dead turtles on the beach. And if you eat those, you get heaps of keratin. Increased rates here, but that is a lot. So that's good. Let's 
So we're just going to head over towards Green Obelisk here. It's got some uh, mountains that lead up to it, and uh, yeah, they seem to have a lot of metal and ore and RGs and all sorts of stuff on them. And uh, typical sort of thing that surrounds Green Ob, I guess, is uh, oh, a Giga over there. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, metal ore on the top here, and typical Green Ob, as I was about to say, um, surrounded by a forest area. Which, yet again, uh, I think is beautifully done here. Lots of Tranodons flying around. I think I saw some Terra birds causing chaos down there. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. And it looks like some sort of uh, a natural structure, doesn't it? Something like that. With a hole in the middle. Um, so like pillars going up but connecting to almost like a concentric circle structure in the middle. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before in Ark, I don't think. Not that I can recall, no. Um, about 50, 75, something like that is a green orb location. Got the stamina back. We'll have a little sneaky down underneath. Have a little look. What have we got down here? Yeah, we've got some metal bits coming out of the disc. Leading up into the walls, a waterfall there, a few creatures, dinos underneath, and looks like the light beam goes up through uh, sort of like a boulder or a rock at the top. Oh, that's really nice, I like that, that's quite unique. Getting a lot of glare there, I should turn that off, but what the hell, eh? As you head out of Green Ob here, I think I saw earlier on, yeah, it looks like a swampy area over here. The beach going down to water and then a swamp ahead. And I like the way it's tucked in amongst the hills down here. So sort of that's where a swamp would be, wouldn't it? Tucked down at the bottom of uh, hills, perhaps. Seems a pretty natural place to put it. Nice beach transition from the woodlands down to the beach, down to the water, over to the swamp the other side. That's pretty cool. Yeah, all sorts of teams up here. Oh, is that a... Might look like a Baryonyx maybe, yeah. Baryonyx, Brontos, Dilos, Parasaurs down there, Tranodons, all the usual sort of stuff. Yeah, that's very nice, I like it. And I've been looking at this for quite some time, been quite eager to get down over here. I've been referring to it uh, as sort of cartoon land, but that's not really what it is. It is sort of white cliffs, I guess you'd call them, sort of chalk cliffs or marble white stone cliffs with very bright green grass on the top or in the little ledges which make up the cliffs, which gives it a very almost like an anime sort of look to it. But I really like it. It's really quite cool. It's... Uh, Got lots of water features and the colours are vibrant and bright, very green forestry. I, I like these sort of areas. They they just they they speak to me. You know what I mean? They speak to me. They got this sort of feeling of um, just a a place that you could live. Some places in Ark you'd never live, but this is a place you could. Lots of water features, lots of overhangs, lots of places to build, which would be safe. I like it. And look at, wow, look at that. Look at that. That is some, that is some top-notch map design right there. That is, wow, that's really good. That water is fantastic. And these islands and the colours of the cliffs with the green. Yeah, I'm really impressed by this with the water features there. Yeah, it's really nice. Really, really nice. I like this. And the trees are really good too. I 
And I saw over here this sort of uh, look like a hole. Um, but to me, it looks like something's burst out of the ground. You can see the way the rocks being pushed backwards. And I'm presuming there's something down in here. Ah, right. Sort of like an island down in there. That would be that would be cool to build on, wouldn't it? That's pretty nice. Allosauruses versus dodos. Over here, um, just jump forward. Uh, this is Red Ob, and down in the Redwoods. I wanted to have a look at the obelisk here and see what it's like, because the others have been pretty cool that I've been uh, looking at. And this one is a bit more standard. Uh, you got a lot of trees around it. It'd be a dodgy place to spend too much time. Things tend to burst out of the trees and the shrubbery and the redwoods and take you down. And flying around in or flying to this, it certainly seemed like there was a lot of redwoods. The forest seemed to go for a really, really long way. Oh, and I've hit a wall here. That's a... So the bottom left or that sort of bottom leftish area isn't quite finished. They put a barrier up there. It's all cool. Understandable. Yep, just runs along here. So there's sort of sections of it not quite finished. Not quite the bottom left, but sort of that leftish, bottomish part of the map, if that makes any sense. And these redwoods, yeah, as I was saying before, they seem to go for quite a long way. Yeah, they have a... yeah, they seem quite deep. If that's uh, the right sort of word to use. Yeah, they go for a long way, lots of forest here, lots of forest. And let's have a look at Blue Orb over here. Let's just fly our way up towards it. This is obviously the icy area. Uh, normal sort of icy place. Got some RGs. A um, few Tranodons, I think, kicking around. I saw them. Mammoths, that sort of thing. A few rhinos. And just like I was saying earlier on for the forest areas, you know, there's lots of hills and cliffs that you need to negotiate your way around to get to the various locations which I like not just a straight run you need to know the map so like you know nothing's flat really very few places in the world are pure flat most places have some sort of terrain or features you need to know your way You've got to learn your way to places and there's a very nice sort of Coloration to some of the rocks closer to the blue orb. These uh, obviously icy areas have a really nice, almost luminescent um, aqua green color. Yeah, that's a nice feature. And then you see coming over the rise here. What are we going to see? Ah, very nice sort of aqua blue over there. Top left of the map, 15, 20, give or take, is where Blue Orb is. I so don't have any cheats enabled or anything like that. Don't believe in doing that. Uh, not when I'm exploring maps. I could do that, but um, I like to fly around and experience it. Um, and Blue Orb here has this, looks like a walkway or something going up to it. Surrounded by glaciers or ice structures. Nice. And yeah, it's nice. Sort of what I would expect, I suppose. Nice. That's quite a cool spot. Not many um, dinos on these sort of flat, snowy areas. Oh, whoa, hang on. Another barrier. So that top right part isn't quite finished. Oh, map went a bit weird there, but... All good.
Now, um, I th this is going past some more snowy areas to the northern top right part of the map. Um, I think this part needs a little bit more work perhaps because there's very few dinos up in this snowy area. There's no sign to say it's incomplete but there isn't many dinos at all on the snow terrain. And I think that up here, yes, I thought I had a sneaky look at this earlier on. That is a Wyvern Canyon. Right down in there. And I'd be guessing, yes, these look like ice wyverns. Cool. Maybe a lightning one there or two, maybe? I'm not sure. It's at the top there, what is that, about 15, 70, something like that. Ha, <laughs> that ice wyvern's flying off into the centre part of the map. That would surprise someone, wouldn't it? Rend it out now. I'll just get my stamina up before I have a closer look. Yeah, it stretches along, yeah, into the distance down there. Yep, typical sort of a canyon with ice structures at the top of it. Wyverns teeming down within it. Just uh, having a look at the last little bit of the snow biome up here, but I can't see anything more. Um, just over here to the right we've got the Wyvern area again, looking at it from the other angle, it was down the other end before. Uh, I think I've seen enough of the map. Um, I've had a good look around, I've been playing it for a good couple of weeks, uh, trying out some of the different features, the biomes, that type of thing. My next video is going to be a review on this. I'll put something together, make it a short video, probably only like five, ten minutes long, no more than that. Uh, just a review of Valguria, I'll put that up next, it won't be too far in the making, I've been cutting the footage together as I go along, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy, eh? Anyway, thanks for watching, see you in the next chapter.